Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play! Hearts of Iron 4, Kai's of Rake as, uh, New England. Now the United States, let's continue on for that sort of So we've united the United States, and we're currently at war with the International. I mean, France looks like they're having a pretty bad time. You know, our ally here has evaded away into the south. And it looks like it's going, I would say, reasonably well. We will get an aggression pack with the Swedish, that seems completely acceptable. And we're preparing a naval invasion of Hawaii. We do have some ships in the area. I'm going to combine them actually into one bigger fleet to put them underneath this guy. And I'm just thinking, like, do we want to send troops to... Send troops to Europe? I mean, the answer is probably yeah. We'll get military access through Ireland. How many enemy vessels are here? Zero. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is we're going to send some armies over to Ireland... To prepare them to go to war and invade Britain. I think that seems reasonable. Actually, right, so you just join up with Purple Army. And then you guys will... Yeah, delete your plan. You also just go over to Ireland for now. Just make your way over there. Hopefully you will not die on the journey. Fingers crossed. And yeah, we got these guys ready to go for the invasion of Cuba. You will be ready in... A few more days. A new capital for America. I mean, we could go for Washington. But you know what? Boston. We gotta stake with Boston, right? Oh, so it looks like the Canadians are already actually... What are, what are they doing? I don't know. You see, the Canadians are trying to invade Cuba. They tried to invade their way towards... Um, this would be like Guantanamo Bay. Uh, they did not succeed in that invasion. Let's see if maybe they're... Okay, so they're actually doing another invasion here. So maybe I should also help invade something like this. Let's bring all of my units here, except for two, and then we're going to navally invade from the north. We also, have, at some point, do want to invade into the West Indies Union, but they are in the International, I'm pretty sure. And Spain has won their civil war, fantastic. It would be nice if they ended up joining up with either the Reichspact or the Entente, preferably the Entente, for obvious reasons. And Havana's actually fallen. Bulgaria actually have won the war. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen Bulgaria actually win the war against Serbia, Romania, and the rest of the Belgrade Pact. So good for them, good for them. Oh, we actually didn't even need to invade. The Canadians actually have got this basically on lock. We might as well put all of our units here. And are we training more units? Because we do have 82,000 guns. So yeah, I should be training up more men. I have no reason why I'm not. Uh, let's just go with... I don't know, let's go like a full 48. Okay, we can't. We can go 39. And let's go for 30. And then we're going to build two rows of you. And then our tank divisions. Which we, to be fair, don't really have a lot of. I see, do we have any tanks? We have some heavy, we have some light tanks. Okay, so we, we at least have something here. We're gonna edit you to be a full 20 combat width. I mean, we're gonna put some infantry in here as well. Yeah, so we'll save it up like that. Let's go so with uh, six, and we'll go one row on you. And then I'm going to duplicate and then replace you with heavy tanks. We do have uh, some heavy tanks in storage. We might as well save that as copy. And then we'll train up, let's say, five of you for now. Seems okay. Yeah, so some tanks I think would be nice. Trash in New York Central. A large explosion attracted uh, many curious onlookers out from Little Falls as they saw upon the wreckage of a derailed train. Travis account said that the reason for the derailment was due to a sharp curve named the Gulf Curve. The train operator, 65-year-old Jesse A. Trill, was running abroad, or running behind schedule due to weather and a faulty engine. Hoping to make up time, he kept the train moving to greater speed, safely passed along the curve. Such a short cut would ultimately cause 30 passengers their lives as well as his own, just one month before he was scheduled to retire. Oh no. How very, very sad for him. Do you have national focus? We do have our... Uh, new points here. Fate of political parties. Maintain martial law. Resistance goes down significantly. 
And if we want to get more cores in the, um, we want to get more cores, we kind of have to do it this way. So we do see that Greece actually joined up with the Moscow core. We'll see if Serbia and Romania join up in that, in that as well. I mean, Ukraine, very, very close to death. I don't know if they're really going to survive for too much longer. And actually, Cuba's already capitulated. So actually, we should probably have you guys prepare for an invasion into here. Also, let's prepare an invasion into the south, because that's a victory point. And then also prepare a naval invasion into San Juan. And then another naval invasion into... I guess Georgetown seems like it makes the most sense. Then we'll draw a fallback line here. Have everybody there for now. And of course, we do need to get some naval invasions here ready to go. So probably go from Belfast, go for this port. Usually is the safest bet. And then White Army will have you go from Cork. And then somewhere around here. I'm not too sure uh, quite yet which of the areas we want to actually invade. But one of those areas for sure is where you want to... Uh, Send some troops. We are having low supplies right now in Cuba, but that's okay. The Canadians will end up leaving. It's not going to be a big deal one way or the other. And how actually is resistance looking right now? I mean, it, it's pretty bad. It rests right now 21%. 15% in some of the areas over here. It would be very nice to have more stability. Like, it's really hampering our ability to, to deal with the resistance. Luckily... Uh, martial law will give us up to the flat negative 15%, which should be, for most of the West, enough to put them at 0%, which I'd be very happy with. And Albania actually declared war on Serbia. How much does Serbia actually have now? 619 against an unknowable amount of Albanians. But I do think the commune should end up dying sooner rather than later. I mean, they are going to lose Paris... Within a decent amount of time. And again, I want to focus on taking out Britain before um, before France falls. Otherwise, invading Britain gets significantly more difficult because all the French refugees will just be uh, British troops. And that is not great. We do need Chromium. We will get that from Canada. Wait, do we not actually have any factories? No, we do not. We have 85% consumer goods. Okay, fantastic. France will clear war on Chad. I mean, that should be okay. I'm not really too concerned with that. Legislate freedoms. Intelligence. Reclaim Hawaii. Who's actually Hawaii? You're already in the Entente. Okay. So I can't just declare war on you. But we also haven't done the focuses that we need. Okay. I mean, it'd be nice to get Hawaii back. It gives us a strategic position that we can use maybe against the Japanese, against like Japan... Could maybe be a threat. It's hard to say right now. Because they can't. I know they can't demand Hawaii. Which would lead us to go to war with them. Rather soon. Also my navy. Should entirely go to Cork. Okay we maintain martial law. And again I want to look at. I think resistance is on you. So yeah we actually got a lot of zeros. Wait, is it just a one-time negative 15%? Oh, that's way less good than I thought it was. Modify social resistance, modify longest resistance. Let's do the American Reconstruction Act. At least for right now. But actually, I probably do want at least one... Probably want one Navy to stay behind. You're all trying to do naval invasion stuff. Lead all of your old plans. Apparently you don't have any plans. Delete your plan. Delete your plan. And again, you, you. And all of you. Just go to Ireland, okay? Go to Munster. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Is there anything we can get for stability? Yes. I will legislate some freedoms. It will put us at 90% consumer goods factory, but I literally do not think that's actually even going to matter remotely. Okay, you guys go up towards Belfast. 
Prepare the invasion. I mean, Norway's almost dead. West Indies apparently is actually also taking a little bit of a hit. What have, what have they lost? Well, they see they, they still have Kingston. So I'm really not too sure what their big... Uh... Like, okay, let's look, take a look here. We do have a massive amount of air uh, nail superiority. So we're going to get you over here. Okay, so we see that you're defending these areas. Again, we're going to go up north. You're in Liverpool. And we do see there is a motorized division defending this province. Okay? Cynical is north from the Greek government. Okay, well, I didn't see that one coming. Lancer. So they're no longer in the Moscow Accord. I would have to imagine. So it's 1940 right now. Do we have any 1940 techs already getting all of you? I will go for one level excavation. Yeah, so you're no longer in the Moscow Accord. We see British forces, or no, Australian forces actually landed over here. Which might end up causing the AI to move. Usually that's the case. A lot of troops in Liverpool. And it does not look like they have really abandoned any of their positions, which makes me a little bit upset. We do have some come. Ah, we don't need that much command power. Yeah, because our war support is still absolutely in the freaking gutter. And we have, like, no... How many guns do I have? 57,000? Okay, we can definitely, like, reduce the many guns we're producing by a pretty decent amount. Okay, so taking a port here. Let's try four divisions. We have no superiority here. Oh, we do. Hey, you can't attack with everybody yet. What about like seven? Okay, what about six? Okay, that'll be ready in just a few days. We can launch an invasion into Kingston. Now, I don't think it'll be enough to capitulate them, but it'll get us, you know, closer to our goal. Okay, let's take a quick look. Is there anybody over in Roslith? I'm assuming there is. But just to make sure, yes. And there's someone in Newcastle. Of course, the British are defending their territory pretty strongly, I would say. I'm not happy that they're doing that. Okay, send out our ships here. Because I think they're all submarines, so they don't actually do anything. Okay, so your invasion's going fine. We should end up winning this battle. I'm going to send naval vessels down here because you are worth five you're not actually a core territory so you got five victory points here san juan not a core very important to note the sow is worth three it looks like the canadians will actually take over there for too long and that's going to get the west Indies federation rather close for sure move our units up north i'm going to send Send some units to Georgetown. There is somebody in Georgetown, but hopefully we can uh, dislodge them in good time. I mean, my thoughts are, like, do we attack Britain or do we try to maybe just invade France first? Because I would like to kill the British ASAP. The thing is, like, I still don't know how... Floating harbors work. You know what? In the middle of this episode, we're going to let things run a little bit. You know, we'll see if we can land in Georgetown. I'm going to say it might not work, but I'm curious. Toy for floating harbor. How do you get, how do you get floating harbors? Landing craft 1940. Okay. Let's take a quick gander. We have 32 days on you. So 1940 Navy Tech. Yes, you have floating harbors. They caught 400. Okay, it's actually not that bad. We're, we're, we're America. We can produce a lot of stuff. I think that's like their last major position. If I'm... Okay, so we did take Nassau. 
Yeah, so I think if we can land troops in Georgetown, that'd be looking uh, pretty good for us. I'm actually going to stop the invasion here for a quick second. Put more units on. And then land... Can I not land here as well? Okay, we'll land in these two areas for now. Transport tech. Oh, why does the research bonus towards the transport models? You know what? That's actually going to save us some time to get our floating harbors. So you might have to wait until we have the floating harbor tech in order to navally invade. And I, we can use it for the very first time because I've never researched the floating harbors. I've never used them and I've never built them. But if you're wondering where they are, they are apparently a... Uh, they're the 1940 landing craft. Had that upgrade. Okay, once again, we're gonna keep on scouting. Just ever seeing like if they open up just like a regular uh, landing position, like a regular uh, harbor, I'd be okay with that. We do see actually Laurent is open right now. So you know what, White Army, you're not going to invade Britain. I'm gonna have you invade right here go in with let's just say a four stack seems reasonable and go with uh, just 10% attack I'd be happy with that we'll get you guys to launch your invasion land troops and Laurent have a port maybe try to cut off rest from the rest of France Did I not put I only put two here I thought I put four no, hold for a bit, hold for a second. I want to make sure there are four units invasion, uh, invading here. Oh, I can't because I've already set. I have set eight to you. Yes, that's why it didn't work. Okay, we'll go to war with Niger. It's fine. I'm not gonna worry about too much. Okay, so there's four divisions. Go back to Cork. We'll launch another invasion. Have that go, and assuming that all of you are back here, which you are, we're going to send another naval invasion towards Georgetown. So I think Georgetown, if we can kill them off, that should be the West Indies Federation completely dealt with, and that should, I think, be the international in the Americas dealt with. Again, Mexico is totalist, but there's nothing we can really do about that right now. Reverse over militarization. Um, absolutely not. We're currently in a war, if you didn't know that. Could go to partial mobilization, yes, please. Again, the French Republic's doing very, very well in the southern commune. Germany's doing okay up in the north as well. Here comes our troops. I'm gonna take to Laurent. I'm gonna put all of White Army down here when we get the opportunity to do so. Okay, no, your supplies are pretty bad. We're gonna send all of White here. We're gonna look at supplies for a second. It's going to take 10 days for this to get up to the level we want it to be at, but it's okay. I don't know if we can really take this port right away. Okay, we got a French tank. We pushed a French tank back. We're immediately going to turn around make sure this Italian troop does not move their way up to Brest. We got 11 more uh, divisions on their way. And we're going to push you towards northern France. And again, I would love to invade Britain. But I, I just don't think it's going to be happening right now. Yeah, let's take a quick look at resistance. Was F5 and F6. So we need you to be, again, I think it's below 10, and we need you to be above 40, if I'm remembering correctly. We have some area score. Like, luckily, Kentucky has realized, you know, we are the proper America, which I'm happy to see. Move you up. We got 11 more troops on their way. Move you. Capture the airport. Having an, uh, an airport over here actually would be nice. We have a bunch of aircraft we're not actually doing anything with. And we want all of you on this front. Your guys' main job is just going to be try to take over Brest. I'm going to have you once again go up to Northern Scotland. And just see if maybe, if at any point, we can get an opening there. It'd be really nice for us. But I do think, at least for the time being, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Now, enjoy, close something down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.